Characters in video games can be defined by their theme music. Take fighting games, for example. In the older Street Fighter games, such as Street Fighter 2, every character has their own stages and their respective theme music as well. Characters like Ryu, Chun-Li, Guile, and others are icons with their theme music being one of the defining traits. Capcom continued the trend of characters having their own theme music in other series such as Sengoku Basara. I mentioned in previous videos that Capcom took certain elements from Koei's Dynasty and Samurai Warriors games and gave their own spin in Sengoku Basara. In Dynasty and Samurai Warriors games, defining characters such as Lu Bu and Honda Tanakatsu have their own theme music to make them stand out as the strongest characters in their respective games. Capcom took this idea and went all the way to give everyone in Sengoku Basara their own theme music. The idea of having theme music for every character not only distinguishes Sengoku Basara from Dynasty and Samurai Warriors, but it gives more personality and uniqueness to the characters. As stated in previous videos, the developers always intended to have characters as their main focus in the Sengoku Basara series. One of the main music composers for Sengoku Basara to Heroes was Kondo Rei. He worked on the series from Sengoku Basara 2 all the way until Sengoku Basara 4 Sumeragi. Other games that Kondo worked as a composer were the Bayonetta Trilogy, Devil May Cry 4, Okami, and the Fire Emblem series to name a few. In this video, we are going to take a look at some of my personal favorite character themes in the game. I will be talking about which of the themes that I think reflect the characters really well and the ones I personally enjoy. As usual, this list will be heavily subjective. Without further ado people, here are the top 10 Sengoku Basara 2 Heroes character themes. I couldn't get Ujimasa's theme out of my head even if I want to. This theme has stick with me since the first time I heard it back in 2007. The melody is rather beautiful and it fits really well for a crippled old man like Ujimasa. It's a given honestly since the music is basically what Japanese referred to as Kaiokyo, which is a Japanese pop music genre back in the 70s. It's not a secret that music composers tend to take inspiration from pre-existing work. In this case, Hojo Ujimasa's theme was heavily inspired by a song called Urami Bushi, a song from 1973 sang by a Japanese actress and singer, Kajimeiko. The resemblance is definitely there. Having an old 70s music for an old man like Hojo Ojimasa is a brilliant move on Capcom's music team. The somewhat melancholic melody made this theme a memorable character trait throughout the series. Here's a character I do rather miss from the series. Not counting the portable games, Sengoku Basar 2 Heroes marked the last appearance of Itsuki in the mainline games. When you fight her as a boss in the North Point Iki Rebellion and listen to her theme, this is the last you will see of Itsuki. I said in the previous video that I love snowy themes. Itsuki's boss theme captures the feel of snow really well. It also reflects Itsuki's innocence as a young girl who fights with a giant ice hammer. It's a rather wholesome and adorable song in a way, and it adds to the charm of her character. I will never take away the ability of Capcom's music team to portray a character through music. Itsuki's theme is a good example of drawing a character through melody.
how do you make a non-horror game scary? You play Tadakatsu's theme from Sengoku Basar to Heroes. Whenever you hear this theme in the game, you know you are screwed. You only have two options, fight or run. Failure on either option will result to your doom. Since Tadakatsu is portrayed as a Gundam-like mecha, the heavy metal mixed with techno is a perfect match for him. That heavy drum beats give a strong vibe of heavy machinery. The synthesizers in some parts of the music also gives the somewhat futuristic take of a Gundam in a feudal Japanese setting. Capcom created one of the most iconic adaptations to one of the strongest historical figures in Japanese history. The theme for Honda Tarakatsu shows how much of a dominant force he is in the Sengubasara series. So baby, can you feel like one? Uh, oops. Sorry everyone, wrong music. Play the right one. Capcom rarely disappoints when it comes to making memorable theme music for a lead character. A lead character should have a theme music that is very memorable to the point where it is synonymous to the character itself. The theme music of Sengubasa 2's Poster Boy should be on the list. I mean, why shouldn't it? This banger perfectly reflects Keiji's character in the game. The tone of the theme is fast-paced, jazzy, and energetic, which portray Maeda Keiji as a carefree, easygoing, and wild character really well. Maeda Keiji is one of the most popular characters in the series. His theme music will always be synonymous with his character as a wandering warrior of the Warring States period. You can feel the burning spirit in Yukimura's theme. This music has all the makings of an anime protagonist who works hard to become the strongest warrior of Japan. That basically sums up Yukimura as a character in Sengoku Basara. He's the typical shonen protagonist who screams a lot, constantly wanting to get stronger by fighting his rival and proving to his master why he is the greatest warrior ever. That heavy metal guitar riffs in Yukimura's theme screams fire. It perfectly reflects not only Yukimura's brash personality, but also his aggressive style gameplay. Part of the song reflects his boldness as well. Despite being brash and aggressive, Yukimura has a strong sense of honor. As one of the poster boys for the franchise, Yukimura must have a theme song that is very true to his character. The Capcom music team did a marvelous job in making Yukimura's theme a truly memorable one. Oh, and one more thing. I feel like this theme is not complete without Yukimura screaming his iconic line. <laughs> Yukimura is not the only character with a fiery theme. Motochika, being the high-spirited leader of his pirate army, also has a lit theme song. Just like Yukimura's theme, Motochika's theme incorporated heavy metal guitar riffs to reflect his aggressive personality. However, unlike Yukimura's theme, Motochika's theme feels more adventurous. It's a perfect fit, to be honest, considering Motochika is a pirate-like character. So, he is an adventurous and rebellious person in that regard. Hey! 
Being one of the most badass characters in the game, his heart-hitting theme song is nothing short of badassery as well. You simply cannot put a list of Sengoku Basara character themes without the main man himself, the one-eyed dragon, Date Masamune. It would be a crime to not put Masamune's theme in this list. His theme music incorporated heavy metal guitar riffs as well, just like his rivals, Yukimura. However, the overall tone of Masamune's theme is somewhat calm. It actually reflects his personality not only as a strong warrior, but a cool-minded leader as well. It's the perfect opposite to Yukimura's aggressive theme song, considering Masamune and Yukimura are rivals. Overall, Masamune's theme is a great theme to reflect his character and to contrast his rival's theme. His theme music is simply electric, pun slightly intended of course. Unlike most of the character themes in the game, Oichi's theme is not a boss theme. Her music is played in an entire stage which is Anegawa. Even so, her theme is considered a character theme than a battle soundtrack since it was used in later games as her boss theme. I have a soft spot for dark and gothic music. Oichi's theme is the perfect music to picture her character. The melody depicts her tragic and melancholic life very beautifully. The banging piano keys incorporated in the theme work great as well to add that sense of tragedy. I mean, we are talking about a woman who had her husband killed by her own brother, then her brother used her dead husband's skull as a drinking cup. To call that tragic is a severe understatement. Oichi in Sengoku Basara is a character where every aspect matches her personality, especially her theme music. Hence, I'm glad that Capcom kept this theme for her as the series progressed. The duel at Ganryujima is probably one of the most difficult stages in the game. In this stage, you go one-on-one -on -one with Miyamoto Musashi and you have to defeat him before the time limit ends. It seems simple, but the time limit is so quick you often lose the duel because of it. It is annoyingly difficult. One good thing about this stage is Musashi's boss theme. Other than gothic music, I have a soft spot as well for traditional music, specifically Japanese music. The taiko drums in the theme gives the vibe of an epic showdown with one of the most famous legendary swordsmen in Japanese history. Although Musashi is portrayed as a young and cocky character, but I still think his theme fits his spirit as a swordsman really well. If ever Capcom decide to bring back Sengoku Basara in the future, I would love to have Miyamoto Musashi return with a glow up. Give him the Tokugawa Ieyasu treatment. I would also like to have this theme being kept for Musashi as the legendary swordsman that he is. Before I unveil my somewhat obvious number one pick, here are the few honorable mentions.
probably would already guess it by now that I really like Katakura Kojiro. I like everything about him, his design, his gameplay, and his theme music. It's not surprising that I put Kojiro's theme as my number one favorite Sengoku Basara character theme. The actual title of the song is called Determination of the Right Eye, a perfect title to the vibe of his theme. This theme reflects Kojiro's determination and loyalty as Masamune's guardian. The melody also reflects his heroism as well, a man who would swear by his own life to protect his lord. A little side note, just like Oichi's theme, Kojiro's theme is not played when you fight him as a boss. It is actually played in the third chapter of his story where he has to fight Masamune to test his own resolve. It's a good placing of the music which shows that Kojiro will keep his lord safe even from himself. It's an act of tough love from Kojiro to Masamune in a way. Being the main lead of Sengoku Basaito Heroes, Kojiro got the most heroic theme out of all the characters in the game. So that's it ladies and gentlemen, the top 10 Sengoku Basaito Heroes character themes. As I said in the opening of the video, the choices here are heavily subjective. I'm sure a lot of you would have a different list of character themes in Sengoku Basaito Heroes. The trend of having character-specific boss themes was kept as the series progressed to Sengoku Basara 3 and Sengoku Basara 4. Some characters in later entries would gain new theme music. There are either remakes of existing themes from Sengoku Basara 2 Heroes, or there are new themes entirely. Talking about character themes in later games is going to be a video sometime in the future. Giving every character their own themes was a brilliant move from Capcom in my opinion. Not only does it add more personality to the characters, but it gives players something to remember as well. Whenever you hear the theme music, you will immediately think about the character. In a way, it's like professional wrestling where we often associate wrestlers with their respective theme music. What are your favorite character themes in Sengoku Basar to Heroes? Let me know in the comment section below. With that being said, this is me Profar. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you dislike this video, give me a thumbs down. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Join the Profar Mokoi Hunter X Discord server. I'll see you guys in the next video.